Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, you know, recently uh, there was a discovery they're saying that the Planet X or the some call it Nibiru uh, exists, and the NASA claimed that uh, that is true. And there was uh, two scientists that discovered it. They're saying that uh, it's the size of Neptune, which is huge, uh, bigger than the Moon, and it's uh, now they're saying it's uh, orbiting in our system, uh, solar system. And just think about that, this huge planet, if it, if it comes by the Earth, imagine uh, just the gravitation, even if it misses the Earth, um, it would just cause huge waves and a whole bunch of disturbance and stuff. Uh, as far as the biblical term, um, I've been feeling that this Nebru could be Wormwood. In the far reaches of the solar system, a hidden planet larger than Earth may be lurking. Something very odd seems to be going on out beyond Pluto. Astronomers have known for more than two decades that the tiny former planet is not alone at the edge of the solar system. It is part of a vast cloud of icy objects known collectively as the Kuiper Belt. But unlike most of their fellow travelers, and unlike the planets and most asteroids, which orbit between Mars and Jupiter, a small handful of Kuiper Belt objects, Orc Boss, have orbits that are decidedly weird. For one thing, they take unusually elongated paths around the Sun, unlike the roughly circular orbits of most planetary bodies. Astronomers say a Neptune-sized planet lurks beyond Pluto. The solar system appears to have a new ninth planet today, two scientists announced evidence that a body nearly the size of Neptune, but as yet unseen, orbits the Sun every 15,000 years. During the solar system's infancy 4.5 billion years ago, they say, the giant planet was knocked out of the planet-forming region near the Sunday. Slowed down by gas, the planet settled into a distant elliptical orbit, where it still lurks today. The claim is the strongest yet in the centuries long search for a planet X beyond Neptune the quest has been plagued by far-fetched claims and even outright quackery. But the new evidence comes from a pair of respected planetary scientists, Constantine Batogen and Mike Brown of the California Institute of Technology called Tech in Pasadena, who prepared for the inevitable skepticism with detailed analyses of the orbits of other distant objects and months of computer simulations. If you say, we have evidence for Planet X, almost any astronomer will say, this again these guys are clearly crazy, I would, too, Brown says, why is this different? This is different because this time we're right. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.